Hi there, my name is Ian Janicki, and welcome to Microsoft Build 2017. Today we're going to be talking about the next generation of hockey app, Visual Studio Mobile Center. So what is Mobile Center? Mobile Center is your new home base for all of your mobile app needs. It's a suite of DevOps tools from continuous integration, automated UI testing, distribution, crash and analytics. So why are we building Mobile Center? Well, we believe in a few important qualities about mobile apps. First is continuous everything. Mobile Center is built for continuous delivery. Gone are the days of having to configure Jenkins on your local machine, running local UI tests on devices and simulators, and uploading your release candidate to Hockey App for beta testing. Mobile Center automates all of this and is hosted in the cloud. Quality is more important than ever as well. And that's why we have a robust crash reporting solution and analytics platform that supports custom events so you can monitor the behavior and happiness of your customers. We also have flexibility built in. Mobile Center is modular, so use it for the tools you need and nothing more. So let's just get started with a demo. So here I am in an app called Confetti. As you can see, we have some instructions about how to get started with our SDK. I want to show you a couple different services here. On the left, we can see we have several different services. We have Build, our continuous integration service, Test, our UI service, uh, we have Distribution, Crashes, and Analytics. Let's start with Build here. So my buddy David has integrated his GitHub repo into Mobile Center for this app. He has a few different branches he's configured, and he's configured them all for when he pushes to his repo. Let's check out this next branch he's created. As you can see, David and his collaborator have pushed several different builds to our service. And obviously, some, most of them are successful, but some have failed. Let's look into a, the most recent successful one. We get this really great output of the build as, um, and a really detailed output of as it compiles. We can also directly distribute this to our beta distribution group and download the different symbols and different logs. So this is great for covering your bases on continuous integration and your, and your unit tests. But how about your functional tests? How about how your users use your app? And how do you test for those case scenarios? And that's why we build test. So test is, a <clears throat> test is testing your devices in the cloud. So you're able to test your common user scenarios on real devices and see what it looks like on all these different devices. So let's look at one of the latest runs that David ran. As you can see here, for this latest test, this launch, just this launch test, all of, all of his device passes. But let's look at one where it failed here. As you can see, 30% of his pa tests passed. And so let's jump, jump into one of them here. So as you can see here, I can tap through David's test here. And I can actually see how this app performs on different devices. These are real devices in the cloud, and these are real screenshots coming from them. It's really great. I get all this different information about memory and CPU in real time. Let's jump into one that's, that had a crash. So here we have a, we have a screen that is <clears throat> obviously on the, on the, app, on the iPhone uh, home screen, and that's because it was a fatal exception. And because it is, we also log not only the device logs and test logs, but also the test failures so you can actually see how this happened. So that's build and test. So let's hop back over to our deck. So that was building and test, but today in a hockey app is your go-to to solution for distribution crash reporting and analytics. Because you depend on these services for your production apps, we want to make sure the transition from hockey app to mobile center is as smooth as possible. To do that, today we're debuting side by side. So how does that work? Well, basically we'll be syncing your apps between hockey app and mobile center. Your apps will exist in two places at once. All of your apps, organization, collaborators, and your testers will not only exist in Hockey App, but they'll also exist in Mobile Center at the same time. We'll also be syncing your data back and forth. Any changes you make to Hockey App will actually sync across and ensure consistency between the two different serv services. Incoming user data from the Hockey App SDK will also be streamed, such as your crashes and analytics. So you can try Mobile Center at your own pace. You can use your existing Hockey App apps and don't have to worry about <clears throat> you don't have to worry about the hockey app platform actually um, denigrating at all. You get all the 
your hockey app data is synced over to Mobile Center. And so you can, shit, okay. Uh, your hockey app data is synced over to Mobile Center. So any changes you make in hockey app will update in Mobile Center to ensure consistency. Incoming user data from your hockey app SDK will be streamed live back and forth. So in order to show you that, let's just do another quick demo. So here I am in hockey app. I have a couple different apps here, this Bike Sharing 360 apps, both in iOS and Android. So if I jump over to Mobile Center, I'll notice that they're there as well. They both live inside this Build 27 organization, which are already I have over here. So all of your organizations or apps are already migrated over. You don't have to lift a finger. So what's really interesting here is how we're actually syncing the apps and the users and the, and the testers back and forth. So let's click in here. So I have one release version here, and I have six different users. So if I click into the iOS, iOS um, version here, and I click on Distribute, you'll notice that I have one release, and I have all my testers here. So we have a couple different groups of people here called distribution groups. My first group is called collaborators. These are all my developer roles from Hockey App moved over. So you can see me and Lucas are the developers on this Bike Sharing 360 app. And as we go to the users here, you'll see that that's the same here. Here are me and Lucas. We also have the legacy group, the Bike Sharing 360 legacy group. This is everybody who's, this is both the developers and the testers involved inside, <clears throat> working inside Mobile Center. So you can see here, we not only have me and Lucas, but we also have the Mobile Center tester distribution group that we also created. And you'll also notice that distribution group has been moved over as well. So the first release I made, as you noticed before, is already created here. And we made it towards the legacy distribution group because we did it in Hockey App. But what's really cool is I can even do this the other, back the other way. So let's distribute to this Mobile Center Tester Distribution Group. I can distribute a new release. And as it uploads it here, I'm going to be using the same ring service. So when I distribute back to my existing distribution group, they're not going to get the necessarily the mobile center distribution experience. They're going to be enjoying the same rink hockey app experience that your users already know and enjoy today. So here I'm distributing it. And here is our second release here. It's attached to the mobile center distribution group. And if I go back, you'll notice I have two versions. And so there it is. So we have this great side-by-side -side collaboration tool where I can, I can continue to use Hockey App, but I can also start using Mobile Center, start using the tools inside of it, and really start to play around with all the different new beacons and the improvements we made on the, new, on the existing services, such as crash analytics and <clears throat> distribution. So let's pop back over to the deck. So this syncing side-by-side -side experience is available today for Hockey App preseason customers. All you have to do is go to your dashboard and you'll see a little banner at the top to join the program. Click join and you get this nice pink banner that will that'll allow you to jump over into Mobile Center to get started. Use your existing Hockey App credentials to log into Mobile Center, whether you use an email or a Facebook login or your Microsoft login, we'll make sure that that synced account is connected. That's it, and thank you for watching.